Welcome everyone to another Imperium Workshop Showcase. Today we're taking a look at the Polaris X Starter Capital Vessel. So today we have a creator requested design, the Polaris X Starter CV. This comes to us from creator Badger375. And it's actually a rework of the original design, the Polaris. The original Polaris design came to us from creator Mr. Icecap and was so popular that it became indoctrinated into the game as the prefab tier 2 capital vessel. The requirements to build the in-game prefab version of this is a little bit higher than Badger 375's version. So let's take a look and see what Badger has done to rework this. Starting at the front of the ship, on the underside you have a hover vessel hangar bay which will automatically open up as you approach. Inside this hangar bay, you will find a medic station and an O2 station, as well as, of course, your ventilator and an elevator leading up to the other parts of the ship. Coming up this elevator, we come into the central production area of the ship. And as you can see, we have quite a bit fitted in here. Next to the elevator from the hover vessel hangar bay, we have a clone chamber and a medic station. Over here, we have our oxygen station, an armor locker and a repair station. We also have doors on each side, one leading to fuel tanks and ammo storage, the other one leading to the oxygen tanks and cargo storage. There is also a single large constructor here, as well as a medical bay containing the different scanners that you might need. Coming into the ammo storage area, you can see we have a couple of ammo boxes along with more tucked away behind them. And you can see we have our fuel storage here with some decorative pipes just to make it look nicer. Over here, we do have an elevator that leads down, you can see we have an RCS here. We also have our gravity generator and a regular generator over here, as well as a nice view outside the ship. And at the bottom of the elevator, we have a hallway that leads us past our other generators and of course our warp drive. Taking the elevator at the other end, we come up past another RCS and have another room that leads us in here with more generators. And of course, another view outside the ship, just as the other side did. And at the top, we come into our oxygen storage, as well as our cargo storage. Taking the stairs between our medic station and oxygen station, we come out to the small vessel landing pad, which also has stairs on each side leading up to the top of the ship, where you can, of course, perform maintenance on your turrets. One important change between this version of the Polaris and some of the others is the reduction of how many turrets it comes with by default. There are still mounting points marked for additional turrets. However, by removing some of the extra turrets, it cuts down on the overall cost. Passing by the medical bay, we come into our food growing area where you can see we have on each side six growing plots. Of course, there is also room for two more on each side if you would like to place them there. Taking the stairs up here, we come into the crew quarters where you'll find some couches and other nice amenities as well as our kitchen area with one food processor and one fridge. We also have a toilet and shower combination in this area and passing through this door we come into the main bridge where we have a pilot seat and two passenger seats. The Polaris X Starter CV is an unlock level 10 size class 3 capital vessel. With 9 fuel tanks it can hold a total of 24,300 fuel and as you see here, with many things set to an economy mode style approach, it has over 42 hours of power. It comes with 9 oxygen tanks giving you 18,000 O2 in capacity, while it only needs 982 oxygen to fill it up. There are 4 ventilators total along with the 2 oxygen stations, 2 medic stations, and 1 clone chamber. As I said already, Part of the reason this is different from the other Polaris designs is the reduction in how many turrets it comes with. By default, it comes with only one minigun turret and two cannon turrets, though you of course have many turret points marked where you can add more later. It comes with a total of 15 cargo boxes and 5 ammo boxes, along with the one fridge, one food processor, and one large constructor. In reworking this design, Badger made sure to try and cut down some of the costs to make it fit better as a starter CV. With 5,344 iron being the most significant thing you need, everything else is much lighter. And by comparison, the 13 Zascosium and a restroom needed to build this is a much lower cost than what it takes to build the prefab version of the players in-game. 
While all of the Polaris designs are of course meant to be more of a starter capital vessel and of course are meant to be a little bit lower cost, I do like Badger's take on this. Badger states in the notes that this is his first contribution to the workshop and some people find it easier to rework an existing design than create something from scratch when they are first getting comfortable with creating designs in this game. In the end, I like Badger's attempt to lower the cost and make this a little bit more suitable as a starter capital vessel because with most starter vessels, you really don't need a large complement of turrets right off the bat. So once again, this is the Polaris X Starter CV by Badger375, and it is an unlock level 10 size class 3 starter capital vessel. If you are interested in checking out the design, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try the design out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment for Badger on the workshop page. Also, if you have any creative suggestions for Badger in regards to this design, be sure to post them on the workshop page as well. Well, that is it for today's workshop showcase. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Make sure you leave me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am your host, Mr. Spicy, as always. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.